coming down the aisle is our wonderful uh, groom, Matt McGregor, accompanied with his mother, Kathleen, and Alexis' son, Bradford. The ring bearer. His studly pinstripes. <laughs> And coming up next, we have Nina, accompanied by Jeff and Mike. And now we have Paige, accompanied by Tony. Who gives the bride and marriage to the groom? I do. These guys do. We get some. Today, as we join Matt and Alexis in marriage, we celebrate them as they begin a new family together. Yet we also know that this is a new branch of the family tree will be strengthened and enriched by love, traditions, and the appreciation of their roots. Does this couple have the blessing of their family for this marriage? Thank you, Tori. Knowing Ron, Matt's dad, very well, I have full faith that he would have loved and supported this union as much as I do. I freely give my blessings. Thank you, Kathleen. Ron. Now, today, I feel an overwhelming energy in the air. I feel it more abundantly in my heart. It's one of happiness and joy, and it appears to be shining down from the heavens above can only be of one of the greatest people I have ever had the opportunity to meet. A person who once touched my life and taught me so much, as well as he may have taught many of you here today. I enjoyed the fun and excitement he brought with him everywhere he went. Ron McGregor, who I know is watching down on us with his heart filled purely with joy, so proud to be a part of this big day. I know he's here watching. I can feel him around us, and if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of his harmonica as he's playing songs of happiness for his son and his beautiful bride-to-be. Now, upon accepting this gift of the opportunity to wed my dear friends, I was faced with many challenges, what to say, where to find the information. I was given all this direction. I said, what do you want this to be like? I said, do whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Just throw tradition out the window. I couldn't throw it all completely out the window. But through my studies, I found some really perfect words. Uh, and they remind me a lot as I read them. They remind me of what I'm seeing here today with Matt and Alexis that I see every day. And uh, I'd like to recite these words for you. You may have heard it. I might tell you who it was later. Only once in your life, I truly believe, you find someone who completely turn, can turn your world around. You tell them the things that you have never shared with another soul, and they absorb everything you say and actually want to hear more. You share your hopes for the future, 
dreams that will never come true, goals that were never achieved, and the many disappointments life has thrown at you. When something wonderful happens, you can't wait to tell them about it, knowing they will share in your excitement. They are not embarrassed to cry with you when you are hurting or laugh when you make a fool of yourself. Never do they hurt your feelings or make you feel like you're not good enough, but rather they build you up and show you the things about yourself that make you special and even beautiful. There is never any pressure, jealousy, or competition, but only a quiet calmness when they are around. You can be yourself and not worry about what they think of you because they know that they love you for who you are. The things that seem insignificant to most people, such as a note, song, or walk, become invaluable treasures kept safe in your heart to cherish forever. Memories of your childhood come back and are so clear and vivid, it's like being young again. Colors seem brighter and more brilliant. Laughter seems part of the daily life where before it was infrequent or didn't exist at all. A phone call or two during the day helps to get through a long day's work and always brings a smile to your face. In their presence, there's no need for continuous conversation, but you find you're quite content in just having them nearby. Things that never interested you before become fascinating because you know they're important to the person who is special to you. You think of this person on every occasion and in everything you do. Simple things bring them to mind like a pale blue sky, gentle wind, or even a storm cloud on the horizon. You open your heart knowing that there's a chance it may be broken one day, and in opening your heart, you experience a love and joy that you never dreamed possible. You find that being vulnerable is the only way to allow your heart to feel the true pleasures that so real they scare you. You find strength in knowing you have a true friend and possibly a soulmate who will remain loyal to the end. Life seems completely different, exciting, and worthwhile. Your only hope and security is knowing that they are a part of your life. I'd like to take this opportunity for the guests. If you guys have any Words of wisdom, encouragement, love or advice, maybe a memory you want to share? I'm going to open it up to you if you'd like. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Words of wisdom. Words to live by. <laughs> Anybody else? This is your opportunity. Matt is going to make a great husband. I've known him for a very long time. And her too. I was nine. Yeah, yes. 1989. All right. Now, Alexis and Matt want to plant a tree together. A tree has a lot of significance in the way the roots and things are. And uh, it's really hard to plant a tree. So most of the work was done yesterday. But I see that they left one shovel of dirt here, and together they'd like to complete the job of planting their tree. Yes, you are. As I recite some words about the tree and what you're doing. See, love is a temporary madness. It erupts like an earthquake, and then it subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work it out whether your roots have become so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not